Hey, it's Bill coming back at you with another video. Today we're going to be training this monster Gorilla Glue number no. four photo period and getting it ready for flower for real this time. Okay, guys, so a uh, little backstory about this Gorilla Glue number no. four. Uh, I got it from a friend that got it from his brother. Um, now it was already he had already flipped it to flower so it was just starting to starting to flower and he took a couple clones off it uh, stuck them in solo cups and they re-vegged and started to grow so uh, I got one of those and once it had totally re-vegged I transplanted it into a seven gallon fabric pot which it's in now so that was October 15th which is what is that it's like two and a half months so uh, I hadn't planned on letting it go this long um, I had actually did a video about six weeks ago where I had taken her and uh, using the swazing technique stripped her up all the way put her in the bedroom closet um, which is where I was gonna grow her and my plan was to flip the lights and flip her to flower but uh, it didn't work out that way and now here it is six weeks later and she's massive which is not a bad thing but I have a very small little house here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to train her down a bit and uh, find a place for her to to grow and then flip her so let's take a closer look at her okay guys so here she is sitting smack dab in the middle of my living room and there's a couple of five gallon buckets uh, those are my curing buckets and uh, just to give you a size reference there's my couch so anyway she is huge she is probably well not probably I actually measured it she's both three and a half feet wide in diameter pretty much all the way around and she's about four feet high from the floor I do have a piece of styrofoam underneath of her because I am on carpet in here and uh, the floor is not insulated very well here at all so that gives her a little bit of uh, gets her off the floor a little bit so I don't freeze her roots but uh, anyway she's in a seven gallon pot and she's very healthy doing very well but uh, you can see I, I did no training to her as far as uh, any LSD or super cropping or anything this is all natural uh, being a super crop clone she uh, they put out stems everywhere so that's what gives her this structure so um, I had lollipopped her a little bit there six weeks ago when I swazed, swazed her but yeah she's grown back a little bit I mean she is just wow she is so full so bushy uh, it's gonna take quite a long time to um, clean this up but that's what we're gonna do today so um, I think what I'll do right now is I'll just put you on the tripod and then explain what we're going to be doing to her. Okay guys, so we have to clean this girl up really well. If we flip this the way it is, it's just going to be a bunch of, a lot of small colas and a bunch of larf down underneath and all that. So uh, what we're going to do is we want to focus the energy of this plant into only top buds. So I'm going to use some techniques that I learned from uh, Kyle Cushman on, on YouTube. Uh, check him out, very smart dude. I've watched a few of his videos and I'm gonna take some of his techniques and incorporate it into this to this girl here so okay so I already did a couple branches on the other side but I forgot to turn the camera on I'm really bad at that if I move the camera and I pause it I forget to turn it on so anyway I flipped it all the way around the plant and we're gonna start again and work our way around okay so uh, again we're gonna clean out the bottom here the obvious stuff anything that doesn't come up to about 50 percent uh, the height of the plant is coming off so we have we have lots of stuff here beautiful clone material
Okay, so. I'm going to bring you in closer here for this. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I hope I set that right. So what we're going to do is we have this nice beautiful branch here. And we have all these side branches coming off it. What we're going to do is we're going to cut off every one of those side branches except for the very top. So let's do that. And we're going to leave the leaves for now. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Every, at every node, there's a leaf and then there's a branch. So that's coming out. This one, I must have already taken the leaf off earlier. So that's fine. We'll take off every side branch right up to the top. So we'll take this one, this one. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is making me a little nervous because I've never gone that high with it. And basically that's, that's just leaving us with, uh, actually I'm going to take this one here also. All that's leaving us with just a, a couple little nodes here, but oh, I missed a big one here. So this complete branch is stripped of side branches and suckers. Now I'm going to flip the lights in a few days, and this is going to grow. This, even though it's four feet high, it's going to be six feet high by the time it's done. So we'll have two more feet of growth coming off of this one spot so even though we've trimmed everything below that would have all been larf anyway so now it's just going to take all the energy that it would have given to every one of those side branches all that energy is going to keep going right by that and go into this very top piece here so uh, it's going to accelerate growth we should get like a massive burst of energy uh, once we flip and then even after we flip and this grows another two feet 18 inches two feet at that point we're gonna have to come back and we're we'll be taking off we'll be cutting these new little fresh nodes in another week or two they're gonna be those big side branches that we just cut off and we'll probably end up cutting off and work, working our way up again so uh, and then we'll just have all main top colas premium bud without any of the larf down below so and also at that point we'll be taking off these leaves too so because these leaves will be way under the canopy yeah we have some really nice side branches here oh, we're gonna take it right off There we go. We got that one nice strip there. So now I think what I'll do is uh, I'll just put on some music for you guys. And uh, I'm just going to go around and clean it out. And we'll come back and talk about it when I'm done.
Okay guys, so we got this part of the training done and uh, another part that uh, I'm going to use from Kyle Cushman is the chiropractic part where he breaks the inner stem, the inner part of the stem um, to increase the flow of nutrient up from the, from the roots to the tips. So uh, how he does this. Now, I've seen him do it. I haven't never done it myself, so this is my first time, too. I really hope I don't screw this up on camera, but if I do, I do. So what he does is he goes right to the base of his plant. Uh, I'm not going to go right to the base because you're, that's thick. That's a tree there. There's no way you're going to be able to twist that enough to, to make it work. But uh, So I'll come up where it starts to get a little thinner. And what he does is he grabs a hold of it. Let me see if I can bring you in here. Okay, so, so he comes in, you grab it, you secure it with one hand, and then with the other hand, you grab a hold of it and you twist until you hear it crack. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, now I, it was very muffled, but you could feel it broke inside. So, and then you go up, you grab about an inch higher, and you twist it the other way. Again, I could, I could feel it give inside, so I'm not going to go any further. And another inch, back the other way. Okay. And there, I did hear that crack. I don't know, you could probably not hear it, but... So basically what it's doing is it's breaking that the inner cell. Now, so a lot of us... Uh, when we cut our plants down, you'll see that the inside is sometimes hollow. Now, I've been told that's a good thing. I've been told it's a bad thing. But Kyle Cushman explains it pretty good. Um, the plant doesn't take up nutrients through that, like a straw, that hollow part. Uh, it takes it, the nutrients up between cells on the outside of that hollow part. So basically what we're doing when we're twisting that is we're creating a, a super highway. We're... we're we're making more of that cell, that uh, cellular area for the nutrients to come up, so they can they can travel much easier through that. So uh, uh, that he does that for every branch. 
So I'm going to go, I'm going to try this again and see if we can hear it this time. So I'm going to go right down to the bass. There, I can feel it give, but there, here to crack there, crack there, crack there, crack there, there, and there. And, and uh, so we've cracked the inside all the way up. Uh, didn't hurt the limb. The limb still seems strong enough to hold itself up. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do it to each each branch from where I know I can twist it snap 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 okay Okay, guys, so uh, I'm not sure if I got all of them, but I got the majority of them. So uh, it doesn't seem to have hurt the plants at all. They still have structural integrity. They're not falling over. Um, so, and, so, and while doing it, some branches were actually quite, quite audible. The cracks, some of them not so much. And some of the stuff down below just, it was too strong to uh, even twist. So... Um, anyway, so that's supposed to help out with the uh, with the nutrient uptake, and also it also makes the stems much stronger. Uh, kind of like when you break your leg. When you break your leg in a spot, it'll calcify as it heals, and you'll never break your leg in that spot again uh, because it's so much stronger than what it was. Um, not saying you can't break your leg above it or below that spot, but you'll never break your leg in that spot again. So uh, it kind of works the same way with this. When you're breaking that, uh, that cell membrane and it heals back together, uh, it creates a much stronger area that uh, will make your stems nice and strong and rigid. So, Okay, guys, so uh, definitely cleaned her up quite a bit. Uh, still tons of top nodes here. Um, now, people might think that uh, I hurt yield by taking off all those branches. This is, look, check this out. That is a ton of material taken out of that girl. Um, so, yeah, by taking all that out, what we did was we basically just concentrated all the uh, the energy that this girl is going to have is going to be all put up into these top buds. So, so that's it for that one. Um, so be sure to check out Kyle Cushman's chiropractic uh, training method. Uh, that's what I used on this, and I, I hope I did it justice, but uh, it seems to look pretty good to me. Some of it was a little bit scary to do for the first time, but it all seems to make sense to me. And, um, yeah, so we'll come back. Now, how big is it now? Let's see. Okay, you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um... Let's go to that edge there. So we have it. Uh, whoop. 
we'll go there to here so we're right around three inches so we we've uh three feet sorry so we've actually taken off about six inches in diameter off the plant and uh so which gives me an idea now i think what i'm gonna do i'm not sure don't quote me on this is i might bl bring out shorty from the three by three and bring her out here and put the Mars Hydro over top of her and let her finish up out here um, which is not optimal because there's no reflective area out here so but then I'll take this girl and try to move her into the 3 by 3 because I need an area where I can have complete darkness for 12 hours and if I do it out here uh, I don't have another tent so I would have to rig up something to uh, to uh, completely put her in darkness. So uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. Uh, we'll find out next time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, you can give me a thumbs up if you like. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, share this to all your social media pages if you like to. So, all right, guys. So that'll be it for this one. And uh, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And... Uh, I think I'm only 100 away from 5,000, wink, wink. Uh, it'd be a great way to bring in the new year to hit that 5,000 mark. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, hit that subscribe button or not. Totally up to you. I appreciate you watching anyway. Okay, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.